You found the Thor Mausoleum in the Shadow Cursed Lands within Baldur's Gate 3, and perhaps you even found Raphael outside of it. You think this might be a simple task to go in, slay some creatures, and make your way back out. Well actually, there's a lot more to this, because beneath the mausoleum is the hidden gauntlet of Shar. This is in order to progress the Daughter of Darkness quest for your companion Shadowheart. Read the journals and loot the area if you please. In the locked chest in the eastern room is a vivacious cloak that grants 7 temporary hit points if you cast a spell when an enemy is in melee range. Cloaks are fairly rare at this point, so it's likely that's an improvement for your party. Once you're content, head to the northern room where your party will likely spot many traps and a puzzle. In order to complete the puzzle, click the buttons on the Moonrise, Grief, and General paintings in that order. Failure to do so, and the room will be filled with darkness. You'll still be able to click them in the correct order after that, but navigating the traps will become more difficult. With that, head through the passage that was revealed, step onto the disc, and click the button. On the lower floor, continue north until you enter a room with a statue and a blue ring around it. This is another puzzle, and to solve this one, you'll need to again avoid some traps by jumping into the four small rooms located off the west and east wings. The doors leading further west or east from the main room have some minor valuables you can plunder as well. Once in each of these smaller rooms, use a lever to lower lanterns around the room. Click on each lantern to extinguish the light source. Make sure you also disable any torches or lanterns you have out as well. Finally, a second ring will be revealed, showing you the proper path you can walk to click the unbound gem and open the way forward. Proceeding forward will place you into a dialogue, which will then thrust you into combat. Make sure to target and eliminate the Umbral Terrors when possible to prevent more enemies from spawning. There's a gilded chest in the southwest corner of the room after the encounter. Afterwards, I'd recommend heading west to the end of the hallway for another combat encounter involving Umbral Terrors. Make sure you kill these as a priority yet again. Once this fight is complete, a door will open and you can move into this room to speak with Balthazar. The dialogue and quest options that follow will be based on what choices and DC you make during the chat, but none of them will prevent you from further exploring, looting, or completing Shadowheart's quest. There's also another gilded chest just before you enter Balthazar's room. Choose whichever dialogue options are suitable for your particular playthrough. I'm just showing this video in this situation so that people are aware of what Balthasar looks like in case they're struggling to figure out where to go for this quest. After speaking with Balthazar, head back to the waypoint, which is still in the western hallway. From there, 
head north and enter the first door on your character's left. This will be the soft step trial portion of the Gauntlet of Shark. From here, select Shadowheart, hit the G button on the keyboard to separate your party members, interact with the altar, offer your blood in Shar's name, and this will begin the event. I like to use the tactical view by hitting the button O. This will give us a heads up display. Now the thing you can do is hit Shift plus C, and then you'll be able to see what the enemies have for vision. Our first goal is to hit the lever that I'm walking towards right now. However, we want to hit this lever to trap the first target in a position that's going to cause them to detour away from us. So I'm going to hit it about now. It does have a little delay for these walls to move in. At this point, we want to move towards the table and grab the key. There are some traps in this room here, so just be careful to avoid them if you can't detect them on your own. And you can fail this and do it repeatedly. Head back towards the wall where the button is and hit shift space if you see that the enemy's vision is coming anywhere near you. You'll see that I was going to get seen here. Now I can hit the button in turn-based mode lower the wall, and I can jump. If I had additional movement, I could use that. I can misty step, whatever it needs to be. I can get to the other side, continue moving away. At this point, I can actually exit turn-based mode as well. This is just a mistake on my part. Now I have to go through the rest of my team, but I could have exited turn-based move mode, excuse me, and just continued to move Shadowheart. And from here, when you get your next turn, walk up to the gate using the key that you had, unlock the door, proceed into the room, you can hit O again at this point to make things easier to see or just to enjoy the graphics. Pick up the Umbral Gem and then click on the transporter that is below it once you pick it up. After completing the first trial, you'll head back into the hallway and continue further along. There'll be another door on your character's left which you can enter for the self same trial. Make sure that your characters are fairly topped off in regards to health at this point is you'll be doing a 4v4 battle against mirrored copies of your own party members with one key difference, and that is that they have the ability to go invisible fairly often. You can suffer a lot of damage during this encounter, and although you can keep resurrecting your party members, it's nice to get through this quicker and easier. I would recommend focus firing on targets to lower their numbers as fast as possible. When ready, interact with the altar in the center of the room. Offering your blood again will allow the door forward to open up. Once you do so, keep in mind that you can make use of the hiding ability to get a sneak attack or other options to open on the enemies here. This will give you a big advantage for the fight coming up. After dispatching all the enemies, make sure that you loot the Umbral Gem and interact with the Transporter again. From this room, make your way back into the hallway and you'll notice that there's a staircase going down. Go ahead and go down to the lower level at this point. Oh, enough time wasted. Battle awaits. Once at the Faith Leap trial, offer some blood yet again, and then separate your party members so you can control just one. I'd recommend one with a decent jumping ability, or you can use something like Psionic's Jump on whichever member you prefer. This trial will send you back, or worse, it'll kill you for stepping in the wrong places. Essentially, you need to memorize the correct path. This video will show you one such option of getting through. The last portion can be confusing for some players. If you have your camera angle turned the way I do, you do not want to be in the center of this platform. If you're in the center of this platform and try to go to the final platform, you'll be sent back or killed. Make sure that you're about a quarter of the way in, that will be where the safe path is. From there, you can actually pick up the gem from being a distance away. This will help you complete it sooner as well. Although that's actually the final trial, I would recommend going to the next room, which is the Silent Library as well. Shortly after walking into the room, you'll be thrust into combat. 
kill the librarian in the middle of the room to enable the use of spells and other things along those lines again. Overall, this is a pretty easy fight. After you dispatch all the enemies, you'll be free to loot the room. Be warned that there's a lot of traps in this room as well. There's also a couple of puzzles that you'll need to solve in order to successfully complete this room. First, there's four buttons around the room. From where you entered the room, the button in the back right is the one that you want to hit to unlock the door to give you access to the Riddle of the Night. The Riddle of the Night is an altar that you want to place a book called Teachings of Loss, the Night Singer on. This book can be found on the second bookshelf on the right from where you entered the room as well. Head into the next room and pick up all the loot that you would like. After that, return into the hallway, put all of your members onto the elevator. You most likely have to do this one at a time as the elevator is pretty tight and the characters don't like to go on it themselves. Head back up. You can choose to put an Umbral Gem on the altar now if you like, but we'll need the fourth one in order to complete the gauntlet, so let's head over to the eastern side now. As you move along the east, you'll see a Displacer Beast leading you on. You can follow after it, and eventually your party will catch on that you seem to be headed into a trap, and I would suggest that you take the warning. In my opinion, this is the hardest battle that you've probably faced to this point, so make sure that you take a long rest if possible, and have your party fully prepared. I would recommend going back around the outside as you've seen here to give yourself an advantage in terms of the height and also being able to open on the enemy as opposed to the other way around. Good luck in the encounter. Once you manage to defeat all the enemies, you're free to loot them all up as you please. The Hellfire Hand Crossbow can be found here off of Young Gear if you decide to kill him, which is a really common and popular hand crossbow option for a lot of players. Most importantly, don't forget to loot the Umbral Gem, which stands near the altar where the Displacer Beast began the battle. The 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 With the fourth Umbral Gem in hand, return back to the original area, go to the center, put one gem into the altar, take the elevator down, then place three gems into the following altar. This concludes the walkthrough and guide for the Gauntlet of Shar, and that's because what happens from here forward is dependent on your own individual playthrough. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch, and have a great day.